how is life going for Ronaldo in Saudi? You must have thought that Ronaldo is going to have all easy at Al Nasser but it seems until now that has not been the case. The Super Cup semi-final defeat on Thursday again turned the attention of world media on CR7. Ronaldo was taunted by fans chanting, Messi, 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 as Al Nasser lost 3-1 to Al Ittihad at the King Fahd International Stadium. It was his second full match for the team, and his second match without a goal. But no one at Al Nasser is worried. They have seen it as a club's transformational phase after the arrival of Ronaldo. They believe his arrival will put them on the map of the global game and can influence the future business of the club. Al Nasser pays a whopping $200 million per year to Ronaldo which is a significant financial investment. But according to a source close to Al Nasser, the club will pay a tenth of that wage, with the rest covered by the Saudi state. Saudi Arabia sees it as an opportunity to rub shoulders with one of the best players in the history of football, and it is a historic moment for our club. For the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and for the whole region. But what can Ronaldo expect from his new footballing home? And will more big-name players be following him soon?